The play music function is used to play audio files within a game guardian script. Its parameter is a URL, which must be a direct link to an audio file that Game Guardian can access and play. Typically, the file is in MP3 format as it is widely supported and ensures smooth playback. Non rooted environment. Key verification. Key, approve. The play music function is not part of the official Game Guardian library. However, some modified versions, including mine, have this feature integrated additionally to enhance the user experience. Despite its potential, I have rarely seen it being used outside of my own online scripts. In this tutorial, I will explain how Play Music works, how it can be utilized in Game Guardian scripts, and provide an example of its practical application. When using audio files in our scripts, it's best to keep them short enough to fit within a 3 second time frame. This ensures proper synchronization between the voice box and the script's message, creating a smoother and more cohesive user experience. To shorten the code, when using multiple voice boxes and messages, it is good practice to encapsulate the toast and sleep functions into a single function. We simplify our script, making it cleaner and more efficient, while ensuring proper synchronization between audio playback and message display. We continue the script by adding the get target info function. This allows us to retrieve the environment architecture and adapt the script accordingly. Since the same edits often don't work for both architectures, this function helps us block incompatible executions or split the script based on the detected architecture, ensuring better stability and compatibility. we handle the case where the process information cannot be retrieved. In this scenario, using an alert is the best option as it notifies the user and terminates the script to prevent further execution errors. Next, we check if the process is 64-bit. If true, we play the corresponding audio and display the appropriate message. If neither of the previous conditions applies, it means the process is 32-bit, so we play the corresponding audio and show the related message as well. This structure ensures that the script correctly identifies the process architecture and provides clear feedback to the user. Note that we write the play music function before the toast message because the show toast function includes a 3-second sleep. This ensures that the audio plays first, and while it is playing, the toast message appears on the screen. The three-second delay allows both elements to be properly synchronized, creating a smooth interaction between the voice box and the on-screen message for better user experience. We also add a build check to ensure that the script runs only on a specific Game Guardian version. If the build matches, the script proceeds by playing a sound and displaying a message, confirming that the correct version is in use. We will not add any message if the build not match, because we do not want to publicly reveal the Game Guardian build version we are using. By keeping it silent, the script will simply terminate if the build does not match, without notifying the user.
This helps maintain security and prevents unnecessary exposure of the required build version. We will also set speed to double. This is done to add more messages and audio to the example, further demonstrating how play music can be combined with toast messages for better synchronization. By playing an audio cue and displaying a message, we provide clear feedback to the user that the speed modification has been successfully applied. While the three second delay may slightly slow execution, if your script uses offsets, this delay won't make a significant difference in performance. Play music is indeed a powerful tool in the hands of skilled scripters. When used strategically alongside Toast and Sleep, it allows for seamless synchronization between audio and visual messages, enhancing user experience. Mastering this function allows scripters to go beyond basic modifications, bringing dynamic and engaging elements to their scripts. The process is 64 bit. Sakura approved. Double speed is loaded.